Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby, if you didn't know. Now you know, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Dos. I almost said good morning. It is not good morning, okay. although we are in bed. Like we, we both tried to take a nap. We put on Home Alone and laid down, did not talk to each other. Like, eyes were closed, silently trying to, like, fall asleep for an hour until I just opened my eyes. I rolled over to him and I was like, I can't sleep. He was like, I can't either. I was like, okay, I guess we're up. <laughs> but we had a late night for me last night. We were just up until, like, two, which never happens for me. I think it was later than that. I think we, like, started to... Fall asleep at 2. Go to bed at 2. I was up until like 3, 3.30. That long? 3.45, honestly. Yeah. I was so, I knocked. Sorry. But we have a fun night planned today. So that's what, we had no plans this morning anyway. So like we just hung out for a little bit. But we're going to, I was going to say night out. But like we're not going out. But we're going out in Miami for once to like do stuff. Spending the <laughs> night in Brickle. <laughs> Which, which a lot of fun. I love. If I if we didn't weren't attached to like Top Gun or didn't have a reason to be like living where we were, I feel like we would have been in Brickle by now. It's just Brickle. such a nice area. When you think of Miami, that's the kind of like Miami area. So we have dinner reservations. We're gonna get some sushi, and then Putt Shack just opened up in Brickle, which is like Top Golf, but like mini golf, and also super futuristic and fun, and like I don't know, it looks. Honestly, like, great time. So I'm very excited for that. We have reservations. Dinner at 8. Um, putt check at 10. So that's why I wanted to take a nap because I want to rally all day and be up. But it didn't work. Um, anyway, we are going to start the getting ready process. But I have absolutely no idea what I'm wearing. Like, not a single ounce of anything. So we're going to try on some outfits first. I know that my hair is dirty, so there's no other option but doing a slicked back bun. So at least we got that part figured out. But let's figure out an outfit. First thought off the bat was these. I feel like I only have like my dunks to match though. <laughs> I forgot those are Nike. They're nice. They're like the, the tearaway pants. But like, I feel like I could make a cool outfit out of them. I just don't know if tonight's that night. Probably not, no. This could be cute. Has Stacks potential. Fit. For sure. But like, it would just black pants. Yeah, that's cute. What shoes? I mean, at least that opens me up to a couple different options. I can wear Jordans with that. Okay, it was a good try. The thought was there. I do like the look of the pants. The shirt, just one doesn't fit me right, and I feel like just isn't. it's too dressy to go with, like, the low-rise street-style pants. So, we're going to try to style something else with these, but my options are very, very limited. I either have... I have so many this long sleeve white one or this one. I don't know if I like either of them. It's a no. I think I have to go back to the drawing board and completely start over because those were all my white long sleeve tops. And that's like the only thing that'll go with these pants, I think. Duh, we're gonna be here a while. I think we finally did it. I my room is a mess. I went through literally like 12 different outfits. I really wanted to wear these pants. They're, I believe they're from like Gilly Hicks from Hollister, right? Yeah. And they're really nice and they were so comfy. And I tried it with this shirt and then I really like this shirt because it's like a sweater-ish thing. It's like technically two completely pieces. But it didn't look good with these. And then I put the sweater on. I was like, this is really comfy and it's like kind of like fall vibes. So I feel like it works really well. It's like pouring outside right now. So I figured this was appropriate for the situation and then we just went with black leather jeans from revolve they're from the brand lovers and friends they're like my favorite black pants are so comfy and they have like the slight leatherish look to them so it looks a little bit different that took forever so luckily i'm not doing much with my hair or anything like that won't take too long but the past couple videos, I've like time lapsed through my makeup, and I've gotten so many messages that are like, "No, don't speed it up. We want to see it." So, I figured that'll be like a big bulk of today's video is I'll do my everyday makeup routine. Although I feel like that's a lie because I wear it maybe like once every three weeks. My bedroom is a mess right now. Normally, 
it doesn't matter how messy or dirty the apartment is, my bedroom, I am normally really good about always keeping clean. However, I have so many clothes in here right now that I'm like doing like brand deal or like work stuff with. So I can't put it away yet. And it has just been piling and piling and piling up and it's making me go crazy. I like can barely even sit in my vanity, but gonna take you through my getting ready process for those that are interested. I was shocked at actually getting comments for that. Cause I'm like, I feel like I one, don't know what I'm doing when it comes to makeup and two, don't really wear makeup much. So it's like an OG. Maybelline baby skin primer for some reason. I just went back to it. I switched it up and used the Like Tula face blurring primer for a while Which I love and I still use that when I'm doing more of like a full face kind of makeup look but when I just do like I Just want to look presentable, but like I don't want to feel like I have makeup on my face This is what I'm doing today. So Go with that put it everywhere and then this is the only like face product I use. I don't do any concealer anymore. Don't do any foundation. Skip all of that. Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. And I just put that all over. I really need to lay out and get some sun soon. I feel like I'm losing my tan as the days go by. And I don't know why because we've had pretty good weather here I just I think I forget that I live where it's warm and I can actually go outside because I don't know lately I feel like I've just been inside all day every time I sit down to do makeup I always need to do my eyebrows but I cannot I don't have time or the energy to do that today so we're gonna just pretend that they're not super grown out and everywhere but that's the only time the only time I sit at my vanity is to get ready and that's the only time I look into a mirror this good and close. And then I'm like, yes. All right, bronzer. Hula Benefit Bronzer. I don't, does it have a shade or is this just, I think this is just it, the Hula Bronzer. This is a little one and it's lasted me like years. I'm obviously getting close to the bottom, but this is the only one I've ever bought. So last a while. Um, I do that the normal places. I also always use it as like an eyeshadow base. So everything just blends better. But cheekbones, up the side, forehead. I feel like there's been like seven new contour methods since I started like doing makeup. And I have not switched over to any of them. So I still do the uh, old reliable, like kind of like the three down your face. And just make sure it's blended in as much as possible. And then down the nose, which I'm not very good at which would definitely help my case out. So I should probably learn how to contour my nose. But I just, I'm not good when it comes to makeup. I feel like I've figured out the system to my face. That was close. Oh no, it's down my shirt. I just don't want it to get all over it. Okay, I think we got it out. It's cause I'm wearing a bra for once in my life. It's just, the shirt needed something under it. Did you figure out your outfit yet? Uh, <laughs> this, however, is a step that is somewhat new. I That's only because I ran out of the Tarte Birthday Party, I think is the shade. It was a free blush, and I am obsessed with the shade, and I literally, it's completely gone. So I don't have another blush, so I've been using the Pixi, like, cream blush, which I do like. I... When you put it on, you feel like it sits heavy and then it blends in really well. But I feel like because I only do powders for the rest of my face, I probably shouldn't use a cream blush. But we just roll with it. Going in now, that's like literally all I do with my face. I'll probably add a little bit of highlighter at the end. But going in with, if I can find it, for brows. There we go. NYX Tinted Brow Gel. And I just kind of like, that is one thing that I'm very lucky with is my eyebrows. I was not so lucky as a kid because I had caterpillars on my face and they were so bushy. But I'm very thankful I had to go through that ugly stage to get these babies now that I'm older and actually enjoy having thick eyebrows. Whenever I do slipped back hair though, I always like to add a wing just I 
so I have something going on in my face so I don't look just empty all around. I don't know. I don't think I want to go. Mm, we're going to go black. I switch between either like a dark brown or a black every so often, but I need to concentrate when I do this because making a straight line is hard. I don't like the direction they're going. Like they're very pointed up instead of just out. But I think we've committed too much that I don't think I can fix it without like totally ruining it. I don't think I like it, but normally it's like a trust the process kind of thing because it just looks crazy that I have no other like eye makeup on so hopefully with mascara it'll be better but I'm a little nervous I think I made them too big now mascara holy grail Maybelline the falsies lash lift waterproof version I love this and I think I'm like almost out so I'm having to do like way more coats than I normally do like normally it's just literally with one coat and you're good to go I love this stuff Okay, see, mascara just makes it blend in better. I think we're good to go. Okay, I think I'm going to add a little bit of highlight, and that's it. I will say, the thing is, that makes the biggest difference is lip products, but I, let me know, okay, you know what, actually, let me know recommendations you have of, like, a lip liner and a lip something that doesn't transfer, because the one, the shade I really love is the Kylie Lip Kit in shade Kylie, and, like, for pictures and stuff, I wear it all the time, and I love it. I think it makes me look, like, just drastically different. Okay, well, not drastically. But, like, it takes a look from, like, eh, to, like, oh, wow, she looks good. But it does not just, like, stay on my lips. It'll transfer to everything. So, like, on a night out with him, probably gonna kiss him a little bit. I don't want lipstick getting everywhere. So then I just don't ever wear anything on my lips. And I feel like it just, you can tell that it, like, I have a full face on and just nothing on my lips and it bothers me so let me know a good pr I did just get a ton of YSL ones that are really 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 nice but they're all like a darker shade I want like a nude pinky kind of color I don't know I'm gonna go back in curl my lashes now one more time And then I think that's, I should have probably done, honestly, I still might. I'm going to do another, an eyeshadow shade, even though I already did um, liner. But I feel like it's missing something. This is my favorite shade right here. I don't, do they have names? I don't know, but it's like a orangey-ish brown color and I think because listen I'm just talking literally out of I I don't know what I'm saying but because orange and blue I believe are like complementary colors right opposite on the color wheel supposedly orange makes blue eyes pop so that's why I like that this brown has like a orange undertone oh it's like pouring outside but I think it just looks good with my blue eyes so that's why I really like that shade I could totally be making that up but like it does make sense. Now that's actually the last step. Setting spray. Okay, hair time. This is Justin's, but I don't have hair products. So anytime I do this, I have to borrow his. I know there's an Amazon like hair glue stick. I've heard mixed reviews on it though. So if anyone else has good slicked back hair, products let me know because I'm definitely in the market because I use his every single time this hairstyle is always so the process is so hit or miss it either takes one try and it's like flawless and goes so easy considering it's literally a bun or it takes me longer than if I were to actually do my hair I think today's unfortunately going to be a hard one because of Ugh, my hair's just so dirty and so like doesn't want to move in where it was.
I'm gonna go figure this out. I'll be right back. Okay, that took a long time. It doesn't even look that good. <laughs> the whole bag is so bumpy. <laughs> like, from the front, it looks okay. Mm. We'll blame it. it on the rain. Whatever. It took too long. <laughs> you still look good. <laughs> Thank you. I need to get my other ears pierced. If I don't do that in Vlogmas, I'm going to be very upset. I really need to. I got these ones done in June. I was supposed to get all of them done at the same time, and they told me I wasn't allowed because they can only do two at a time. So then I was like, okay, I'll get one ear because they said that would be easy. And now I look crazy because I just have one ear triple pierced, and the other one is like... And the bottom hoops that I have look really good with multiple, but on this ear, something about it is giving me pirate, and I just don't like it, but can't do anything about it. Okay, 455, that took way too long for literally no reason, considering it doesn't even look that good. But we're going to head out. I have to walk through pouring rain anyway, so that'll be my excuse. That's why I don't look good. This one. Still just slump city in the bed. Huh. The final look, just wearing it with McQueen's. And we're technically still three minutes ahead of schedule, but we're gonna go to just hang around, walk around Brickle City Center. We've actually never been there to shop. I don't need anything, neither of us need anything, but we're probably gonna get stuff. <laughs> I'm sure. So, we went to go take pictures really quick, and this is like everyone's taking the pictures against this wall, it's just like the place to go, I feel like it's about to get really loud, but Justin was, you know, being the Instagram boyfriend that he is, flashing away some pics of me, and this couple, I thought they were just going to ask you to like take a picture of them, but they are like, what phone do you have? And he was like, oh, the 14, he, they were like, oh, perfect, our camera's bad, will you just like take pictures of us on your phone? Yeah, yeah, no but problem. then they had a full-blown to go where are we going Over on that side. they had a full-blown photo shoot on justin's phone like, like I have switching all the pictures, poses like, and, it was and great like because like, they knew i would be like reliable to take good pictures of them and it was just so funny because like they approached me and had access to take pictures so i'm done taking pictures of them i started taking pictures of gabby again and then another couple pulls up on me it was like hey but do I you want to take your pictures but like normally I'm like no worries like that's, yeah, I got you, that's the like, norm of like here's my phone snap one picture of us Right. This couple. No, it's like, full like, post shoot. Like, they were like, would you mind taking pictures? I'm like, you know me, of course I don't mind. Right. Like, I'm over here taking pictures of Gabby. And it's like, it was just so funny though, because like, they want a couple pictures, individual pictures, <laughs> retake some pictures, but like, you know, it was, uh, you know what I'm saying? We're going to Zara? Okay. This is our first time coming here to like actually walk around and shop. We may have had our hopes too high. We got here like a little before six. We don't have dinner until eight. We're already done shopping. He did get some stuff at Zara though, which is actually really nice. But it's, we'll show you later. But like now we have another hour to kill and I have no idea what we're doing. Luckily, they ended up letting us sit down early because we tried everything that we could to kill time. Went to a bar, grabbed a couple of drinks, walked around again. There was nothing else we could do, so. We sat early and they and the last time we came here, we got the corner booth on the other side. And we got the corner booth again, which is such a good seat. Very exciting. Well, I forgot to record, but oh, you just lost so much crab. This is why we come here. Look at that. That is all just crab in one roll. Phenomenal. So good. We had to order. Look at this. Look at the crab. We had to order another one. We're going to take a minute to clap it up for Justin. His first meal ever using only chopsticks. Not Justin, he's amazing. Normally the white boy that asks for a fork everywhere we go. Exactly. Why I gotta be white to use a fork? I'm telling you. It's just a very white person thing to do. Listen, I do it too. But like, I also use chopsticks. I've been getting better at it. But I'm proud of you. you did good. I appreciate it, yeah. It was a whole different experience because everything just like <laughs> fall out. Yeah, it just falls apart. But I also don't know. I don't know what we and expected. By like Sorry, when yeah. we made the timing of all of this, we ended up getting seated a little early. Time management skills are terrible. like yeah, thinking about it at least this time around was definitely not our best. So now we're like it's future. only what it's like eight thirty now. Eight forty-five. We don't have cut check until ten. Until 10. But it's on at ten o'clock. Oh, I'm so excited! Actually, like it looks so much fun. <laughs> 
But we're gonna get dessert at Pud Shack. Maybe see if they can start us earlier. Because I feel like mouse stores are closed. No, are they still open? I don't know, but dinner was phenomenal. I want to give a, another shout out to uh, for taking me on a hinge date there once. <laughs> so I know about that place. I'm gonna bleep out his name, but that's the only way I know about it. It was my one and only hinge date I went on. You go on one? No. <laughs>